would you like to see, and obviously far in the future, but like, would you like, because I know that, you know, you guys still have a lot to do as a team, but would you like to see you and Montez do something similar to what New Day has done as of late, where they branched off on their own a little bit, doing single stuff without, you know, splitting up their unit so that they can all still do their mm -hmm. thing together? Uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be cool. We haven't really honestly discussed that, but that's honestly the, if it ever happens, that's what we would hope for the hope to happen. You know what I'm saying? We still be boys while we are watching each other flourish. You know what I'm saying? Cause I think like Tez has the potential to be one of the, one of the best, you know what I'm saying? He are, he does have rock vibes and like, I agree with everybody that says that like, he has the potential to hold the title. So, I mean, hey, I, I hope I'm there to support him and uh, I'll be right there with him. That's my brother for life. And then for me, like, hey, you know I'm saying? he'll be there for me as well if the opportunity ever went that way. But if it if it does happen, hopefully we are like kind of do what the new day does and uh, still be cool with each other, still be a unit just in case somebody tries to be funny and try to jump up on one of us. You know what I'm saying? We got to handle business, but, um, but yeah, I mean, that'd be great. That's why I feel like, you know, I know that usually the, like the norm when a team breaks up is that like one of the guys turns on the other. That's what you always see. But I, I, I like when teams just kind of like, Hey, let's, let's not do that. And, and, and let's just go do our own thing for a little bit so that we can eventually yeah. come back together because there's no reason to, to split up a money making unit just in the name of, you know, a story. Right. I mean, it was crazy because like the one thing I, I admire so much about the new day is like it wasn't like oh uh, like it was them, it was each other pushing each other out there to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when Kofi had that coat when Kofi had Kofi Mania, it was Ian Woods right in his ear. When uh Woods was out and Kofi was out. Kofi was in easier, you know what I'm saying? And then Woods comes back, you know what I'm saying? They win the tag titles. And then split happens, different brands. And then all of a sudden, like, King of the Ring pops up, and they're pushing Woods to, hey, bro, this, this is what you want. Go get it. Go get it. Like, it was like they were more so pushing each other, which, like, I don't know if you, like, notice it. Like, sometimes they were kind of, like, reluctant. Like, man, no, nah, I don't want to, like, Branch out on my own, like, yo, we a team. No, 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 bro. It's your time, man. Go ahead. Get that. You know what I'm saying? It's your time, dog. Don't shy away from it. And it's just them pushing each other. And that's like one, like, them and the Usos were the teams that we looked up to while we were NXT. We were always watching what they were doing. We were like, all right, cool. Like, they showed us kind of how to handle, handle ourselves and how they handle themselves professionally. And we just try to, you know what I'm saying, follow in that footsteps and not try to be better.